folks, uh, my name is Davey, also known as Little Chuck the One Man Skiffle Machine and I'm a professional musician, harmonica player, harmonica tutor um, and one man band and um, but most importantly I am uh, what's called a rack harmonica player which means I play uh, with this harmonica thing around my neck and play simultaneously with the guitar uh, and I've been doing that for 25 odd years um, at every single gig I've ever done over those years so um, yeah I, uh, I have a little bit of knowledge that might be able to help you out so I'm going to try and uh, help you work out which one of these you should buy, alright? And uh, I'm going to cut to the chase. Um, look, there's no best one, <laughs> alright? Uh, it's going to be a lot of trial, of it, uh, trial and error, but I'll try and point you in the direction of what you need to think about, alright? I'll probably do a lot of rambling, because that's kind of my nature. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go. So, alright, so they're called braces, harmonica, racks, um, what else? Holders, um, Bob Dylan thing, coat hangers, whatever you want to call them. Um, but, you know, it's the sort of thing that you see Neil Young play and, and whatnot. Right, so, probably the, what it boils down to is budget and the ergonomics, you know, the, uh, how it fits with you. Alrighty. Now, with, with a view to budget, and I'm going to talk in New Zealand dollars here because it's what I know, um, you're probably talking the difference between $15 Okay, and $120, all right? Now, so budget's gonna come into it. Now, it doesn't mean to say that the cheap ones are rubbish and expensive ones are the best, um, because they've got different elements to, to that, all righty. Um, probably a fair call, <laughs> but you know, you get what you pay for. Um, but I'll, I'll break it down, but there is some mid-range. So, personally, I really like this. K and M, okay. These are mid-range, sixty odd dollars, um, and K and M, a German company that make microphone stands, really good quality microphone stands and whatnot. So um, these are great build quality, um, unlike perhaps this one, which is a kind of a really cheap metal, alrighty. And um, so build qualities comes into it. But the flip side is, you've also got to play around with where the thing sits on your body. We've all got different body shapes, right? We've all got different ways we play. Some people play stood up, some people play sitting down, some people play slouched, okay? Some people have no necks, some people have massive necks, you know what I mean? You've got to think about all of these things when it comes down to it. At the end of the day, you're sticking this ridiculous piece of metal around your neck, right? And then you've got this other bit of metal in the middle, right, that makes a tune, that you kind of got to try and work around everything else, right? Okay, and, and then, yeah, you got wobbling your head and trying to rock doing that. And then, um, yeah, and then you've got to find the one that works for you. All righty, then you've got to throw this into the mix. Ha! Oh, deciding to sing as well. Oh, hang on a minute, where's my mic? Hang on, the mic's there, right? Okay, the hum hum oh, hang on a minute, now I've got to do all this with my shoulders. You see what I'm saying? You get me? You've got to play around with this thing. Now, I personally, this is the really cheap one, okay. I, I, I look at the locking system on these, all right? This locking system, all right, is rubbish. So if you think about it, when you're playing, right, if this bit here is rubbish, and I'll tell you something else about this harmonica bracket as well, you can't, I can't get it in. It's really, really, really hard to get a harp in there, right, so I'm not even gonna explain. But when you, so when you play the harp, if those locking systems rubbish, then it starts falling forward. You know, like that when you start playing. Okay? So think about that. Now, these mid-range mid ones, okay, they have a nice locking system. So when you play, all right, notice how easy it is to get the harp in there. When you play, it stays stable, all right? Okay. Now, body shape. Okay. I have tried this one. I think this is by Lee Oscar. I think, all right? And um, I personally don't like it, all right? And the reason I don't like it is because for the way this sits on here and the balance of it, when I play, it goes like that, you know? So it moves around when I play, you know? So if I'm playing guitar and then, you know, moving about, it ends up up here and then when I go for a solo, I can't play, okay? So I think about things like that. Now, this one here is a really cheap one, all right? It's basically a coat hanger, all right? 
Um, I don't know who made this, but and it's got locking on either side. It's actually quite a good, quite a good rack actually. So um, I quite like these ones. Now let's go to the other extreme. This here, all right, is um, the Hona Flex rack. Okay, I got this recently. Now. These in New Zealand are about $120, all right? So that's top dollar. I mean, you've got to think, you know, am I just playing Piano Man once, or am I playing Heart of Gold once during a gig, or am I a professional and I need it to, you know, be a really working tool, okay? I mean, that's the way I think, obviously. Right, this is mega. This has adjustments all over the place, so you can adjust it to the height of your rack, and um, height of your neck and all of that sort of stuff. So it has all these mega adjustments on it, okay? So this one is a quite an amazing brace. The one thing I didn't like about it is that I found that my harp slipped in it like that, okay? I didn't particularly like that. Um, the K&M doesn't seem to do that. The flip side though is that I actually use a harmonica and microphone in my brace. Now this is um, uh, what's called the racket and this is made by Greg Human and this is absolutely killer. I mean this is just the best thing I've ever used. All right so um, I actually when I'm again choosing my mics I need some uh, choose my braces I need something that, that holds this nicely okay because that's that actually my harmonica fits into that. All right okay so um, so and it's, you know, obviously that adds another weight onto the harmonica thing. So, you know, I need to think about a solid, solid um, brace that can do that. Now, okay, while we're talking about microphones, so let's think about microphones. Okay, whether you're standing or sitting, bearing in mind if you're standing, you're going to be a lot more upright. If you're slouching, sitting like me, it changes where the harmonica sits. Now, for most of us that haven't got, say, one of these mic, um, one of Greg's mics, let me stick this one in here. When you're going to, if you decide to sing as well, okay, you need to think about this. Right, here is my singing mic. La 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 la. The harmonica's down here, all right? So therefore, how do I then get that happy medium? Well, then I've got to do that, which is actually changing the whole, the whole angle of where the harmonica sits when you actually go to sing. You know what I mean? So you need to play around with that kind of idea. Now, I have also used, I haven't got any, um, but I have also used um, these harmonica microphones, sorry, holders, that fit to your mic stand, okay? Now, I, I bite quite hard on the harp, um, not, not literally, but you know what I mean, I, I kind of push into it quite a bit. And what I find is that when I'm using a microphone with one of these systems that's linked to the microphone stand, just because of basic physics and leverage, uh, I, I end up pushing it like that, and that for me is too much flex when I'm playing, you know, to... You know, so it's no good for me like like that. But you know, they might work for you. Um, so look, uh, that's my rambles. Um, no one is the perfect one. You've got to go through a few. All right. Why do you think I've got this many? All right. Okay. I'm all happy to try more. By the way, any harmonica companies out there want to throw me some to try? I will. <laughs> all right. Because I've tried a lot of them. But um, yep. Yeah. So, no one answer, okay? Think about the body shape, how, so how you sit, how you play, how it works in relation to the microphone, if you're gonna use one of those as well, whether you're using Greg's harmonica brace mic, you know, all of those things. That's what you gotta think about, and also, how much money have you got in your back pocket to spend, you know? So, uh, see how you go, uh, check out my music, um, and uh, yeah, Little Chuck, the one-man skiffle machine. Cheers. <laughs>